<laughs> okay guys, here is my part 2 of episode 11 review featuring Haruki couple. Once again, I do not know if they have an official couple name but we'll make do with Haruki couple for now. So, let's dive into the juicy details of Harem and Ricky's hot romance. So, after choosing each other at the gondola in episode 10, Harem mentioned that Ricky was ready to move to Seattle for her to which he also agreed. Talk about commitment, right? When Harem picked Ricky up from the airport, there was a lot of smooching and kissing going on because as he said, he missed her a lot. Harem seemed a little shy and reluctant to receive Ricky's PDA, but hey, Remember Ricky's reason for his divorce was the lack of intimacy, and the reason why so many sparks were flying in Cancun was because she brought her flirty A game there, which got Ricky hooked. Next, they got to Harem's place. When Ricky entered her house, her 8-year-old daughter gave him a big loving hug, her 5-year-old son also did the same. I was so entranced, in awe and blown by this moment until oops brace yourselves guys, the surprise twist is that Ricky had already visited Harem and her kids before the cameras started rolling. Yep, no one played by the rules. While it's great for them, it's a bit frustrating for us viewers who love those heartwarming first meeting the kids moments. Moving on, Harem whipped up some mouth-watering dishes for Ricky, but no alone time for these lovebirds because the kids were craving attention. Sometimes from their mom and other times from Ricky. Ricky bought them gifts and had some chaotic moments with the kids but in the most precious way. Although the older kid calling him Ricky by name without a mister in front of it just seemed weird to me. I guess this is normal for some depending on what part of the world you're from, or your family dynamics. Then the baby later woke up and also joined the party. Harem, the super mom, focused her attention on the little one while Ricky chipped in, by tackling the messy sink and doing the dishes. Harem tried to make him stop because it may have made her feel uncomfortable, but he was devoted to helping her with that task. Though, at some point, she needed help with the kids, but my guy was busy scrubbing away that tray. I guess that was therapeutic for him at that moment lol. But sadly, we left Haruki's scene with Harem rushing her daughter to the ER because of severe pain in her ear. All this in a day's work for this supermom, right? Their scene was pretty fascinating because of how genuinely real and exhausting it felt. I can only imagine how exhausted Ricky may have felt. Now, I can't help but wonder if Ricky might hit the panic button and backtrack from this relationship. But, if Ricky wants this to last, they'll need a ton of heart-to-heart -heart talks, some kid boundary setting, and plenty of engaging activities to keep the little ones occupied. Making this work won't be a walk in the park. But here's the kicker guys, rumor has it that Ricky didn't choose Harem in the end, and it's even alleged that he might even be cozying up to someone new who's unrelated to the show. Frankly, I can't blame him. Committing to a relationship when there are kids involved is no joke and shouldn't be treated lightly. In the next episode, we're in for a real treat because Harem's ex-husband pays a surprise visit. Ricky plays it cool when Harem asked him if he didn't mind, though he looked uncomfortable in the clip, he didn't look surprised. He probably already knew this would happen. Harem isn't the type to spring surprises like that without a heads up. So I believe he knew about this special guest's visit. I can't wait to see the next episode guys, I hope we'll get to see Ricky's crib as well because it's also rumored that Ricky is Mr. Ricky Rich. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.